A woman speeding away from police winds up needing them to save her. Evening, everybody. I'm Jack Atherton. And hello, I'm Deborah Lenz. We got our hands on this dash cam video of the chase. It all started in Inglewood. And ended in the 1000 block of Philadelphia. That's a dangerous area, especially for speeders. And we have the stats to prove it. Our Nicole Grigg joins us there live. Nicole? Jack and Deborah, this is where that car accident happened this morning. You can actually still see all the broken glass from where this woman crashed her car. There were actually three vehicles parked all along here. One of those vehicles actually slammed into this tree. Now police are beginning to look into this area. Police pulled over this woman after she was going 54 in a 35. Watch what happens next. Police say Jacqueline Snowden then takes Inglewood officers on a chase. They ended up pulling off, though, because it was too dangerous. But she kept up her lead foot. First I heard a boom, you know. James Howard lives just a few houses down from where the 27-year-old crashed. You know, cars is nothing to play with. He's sick of seeing these dramatic crashes off Philadelphia Drive, almost all of them because of people going way over the speed limit. I just wish that people would be a little bit more considerate of others, especially when you drive in a 2,000 pound vehicle. We first investigated the speed problems on Philadelphia last month after a woman died in a crash here. Neighbors told us then they see this way too often. After today's crash, we called Dayton police to check the numbers again and found out all of last year there were a total of 16 crashes on Philadelphia. This year, we've already had had almost the same amount with 14. Numbers like that is, is a surprise uh, once we went, went and looked it up for it. Um, so yeah, it would be an area that we would uh, look up and look at. Police say the increase is dramatic, but they can't find a specific reason. Philadelphia has a few hills in it up and up and down, so it does have a few blind spots where people uh, may drive faster than they actually can see or may or think they can. And since we put that call in today and police notice a dangerous trend, they're going to redirect their traffic efforts here for speeders so neighbors like James can feel a little safer. It's hard to cross the street. You know, if I wanted to get to the other side, it'd probably take me almost an hour. <laughs> As for Jacqueline Snowden, she was booked into the Montgomery County Jail as soon as she was released from the hospital. She's being held on failure to control a vehicle and OVI. For now, reporting live in Dayton, Nicole Grigg, ABC 22 News.